Hey guys, welcome to our first episode of Behind the Likes with Winter and Shy, my best friend in the whole wide world. I'm so excited. This is our first episode, guys, and this is like a long time coming. We've been putting all this work in. I don't know if you guys have been like following um, our rollout. I hope you guys liked our pictures, our videos, everything that we got going on. Shy, how are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. Uh, this is new. We are actually yeah. hella nervous. We are really talking. We're, she's like, I'm like, we planned a whole introduction and she even yeah. breezed past that. It's shy. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> We are a little nervous because obviously we've been on podcasts before, mm -hmm. but this is our first time doing our own thing and together. I mean, and it's know. been, it really has been a, a long, long time, time coming. coming right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Finishing each other's sentences oh. already. Tel telepathy? telepathy. Telepathy. Yeah. So what is it? Tele yeah, twin telepathy. Telepathy. Yeah. Twin so telepathy. it has been a long time coming and like we really worked hard to get it to this is our first day of filming. So we're excited and we hope yeah. that you will be just as excited as us and you'll tune in. Every single week. Week. <laughs> we don't even look. We, <laughs> what's I the was like, day? <laughs> what's the schedule? Um, um, yeah. But so basically the reason why we even called the podcast Behind the Likes is, uh, as you guys know, we both have social media following already some more than others. <laughs> but... uh <laughs> <laughs> There's um, but I, multiple, yeah. I feel like, I just feel like when you have social media and you know what it feels like behind the likes, you know, a lot of people just see, you know, the um, the interactions, the likes on the pictures, the viral videos, everything like mm -hmm. that. But there really is so much that goes on behind this influencers, music artists, mm -hmm. just all sorts of things. And the podcast is not only going to be us. We are going to eventually start bringing guests on just because I feel like everybody has their own personal experience and, you know, they've gone through their own things. Me personally, if you're new and you don't know who I am, I did reality TV when I was 22 um, and I was blessed and cursed with a cult following i'm gonna say blessed because i know a lot of you guys are from yeah she calls her following this is what she calls her following roaches yeah they are so the I'm, roaches. I'm like and like it's hilarious because people when people who don't know you they think yeah. you just are so like when you say something mm -hmm. but like you know they so think it's just, true they think what it's i'm true. excited about i get what you're you about to do this but what i'm most excited about behind the likes is that I know it's us together mm -hmm. but i'm excited because i love you so much and so mm -hmm. i'm excited for people to see well, hopefully, because I hope she don't turn into a <laughs> But <laughs> I'm excited for people to see a different version of you. It's mm. like you are, you're like an onion, yeah. low key. But you, you have layers and like, so do I as well. But I'm just giving you, you know, right yeah. now, I'm like, because I really am excited for this. And I'm yeah. excited for people to love you like the way I do, you know? Yeah. Because they think you're a And I'm excited. Sometimes people I think, think I'm too though so it, it it really just depends i mean if they meet you they will not think she's i was just talking about this on live earlier because i was on live and they were like oh what's your sign and what's your best friend sign and i was like i'm a taurus she's an aquarius and like mm -hmm. we mesh so perfectly and so well like my literal soul sister but like i was saying how somebody was like shy's funnier than you and That's i said true. i said i said look it's de it depends on who you ask because she's more of an outrovert uh huh yeah extrovert that's the word yeah extrovert, extrovert yeah. and i'm more of an introvert like we'll go out and she'll make 15 friends and i will not make any friends but mm -hmm. like we still have the same humor we're still locked exactly. in amongst like, each other like i'll tell a joke and like the whole room will laugh and she'll tell a joke and i will hear it yeah. and i will bust out laughing right. so that that really explains it deeply it'll be yeah. it's really it no 100%. So it's 100%. And it's like when she kind of has social anxiety a little bit. So yeah. it's like, I'm like, when you I know, walk people into people don't room, know that. People don't, they think that because of how I am online, they think I'm super no. like out there. So, and I'm completely like, yeah. I automatically, when you look at me, you see, cause I'm so drop dead gorgeous and tall. <laughs> yeah. And so people automatically look at me and think she's a bitch. But the moment yeah. I open my mouth, it's like, uh -huh. She's a clown. Yeah. <laughs> She's just a clown. She's just a clown. So yeah. I'm excited for us to do this. So people can both see different layers and different levels of us, mm -hmm. our friendship, and who we are yeah. behind the likes. Yeah. How do you feel <laughs> it is like, um, how do you feel it is people like knowing who we are? Like, you know. You know. Do you feel like you go through that or no? I do. I really, you do? But you, I was just about to say the difference between me and you is yours is way more. I feel like your following is aggressive. Even though mm -hmm. my following is small, they mm -hmm. love the fuck out of me. My yeah. engagement is crazy. My interactions with people right. is insane. Like I literally 
yesterday, somebody came up to me and was like, "You're shy. I love you so much." Mm. And it's and it really is so baffling to me with my with my little following. I'm like, yeah. y'all really love me, and it's like we feel like we know you at work. Literally Sunday, girl was recording me, and she was just like. I know you. And half yeah. the time, most of the times, they'd be her followers. <laughs> but a lot of times- My followers are in love with her. Exactly. Like, legit. But a lot of times it is just, they'd be like, we just love you. We feel like, I feel like you're my best friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, I'm excited for y'all to get to know us on another level too. Yeah. But how do you, I know, I'll tell you, after you say this, I'll tell you a story about when me and Winter first started really rocking and this yeah. girl came up to you. Oh crazy. my God, I know exactly at the Grove. Yes. Well, okay. Well, I'll tell you guys, like for me personally, like how I feel with people knowing me, like- it gives me anxiety. Like we just kind of talked mm -hmm. about, like it does give me anxiety. I can feel when people are looking at me, I can feel their eyes burning into me. You feel I, when they know I you. I hear the whispers. I hear the whispers. People always try to be quiet. Like, oh, that's Winter. Oh, she did bad girls. Come on. Oh, that's she. Girl I had a, a little girl at the airport tell her mom, mom, that's Winter from Bad Girls Club. She was a bully. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? Like, yo, like, it's just so many, like, little encounters like that. It's normally always positive, especially as the years have gone on. And I've been able to write my books. Some of you may not know, but I have two books. The first one is See, I Was Right. And the second one is You Should Have Listened. Really good. I, I haven't read the second one yet. But the first one, <laughs> I know, horrible. Like friend, but old. the first one was actually, like, I read it in, like, a day. Yeah. So. Yeah. The first one is And I'm not saying that because you're my friend. It really was yeah. like a good book. It's a great book. But I feel like since, you know, I put my books out and like people have been able to get to know me over the years, I feel like I've been able to actually do something positive with the platform I've been giving mm -hmm. rather than just feed into the negativity that, you know, Bad Girls Club, that was mm -hmm. the platform that I was given. And people still try to pull it out. I and mean, you see it all the time. They want mm -hmm. me to do these TV shows. Yeah, they want me to go on Zeus. They want me to go on Baddies. They want me to, you know, be out here fighting at 30 years old. And I'm just like, I feel like my purpose in life is bigger than just beating up. Like, that's just not, <laughs> you know, like, I feel like I have a Baby, purpose. at this age with these knees, when we was wrestling, <laughs> I was worn out for two weeks. If you guys didn't see the video of me and Shy wrestling, you missed out because I was whooping her and she did Bitch, not. She the did only not thing she got is some strong thighs. Yeah, that's it. I do. I do, for sure. But, um, but no, it is interesting to see that dynamic too and to see from you. So I get it on a micro level and yours is really imagine like mm -hmm. when we really like do you get any hate though like do you do you get hate you know what's crazy no barely yeah. i don't i people yeah. and i'm not gonna say because i people will hate you for everybody else loving you so i'm not yeah. gonna say that but right. i really do people it's just, jealousy that's what yeah jealousy. it's jealousy but people genuinely don't really react to me that yeah. way and also because i i mean i don't know i feel like with your type of body too is different. What do you People mean? People don't really be intimidated by me because I'm a oh. bad, you know, I'm just mm -hmm. different. Like, I'm just, yeah. I don't know. Right. They be like intimidated they by like high wise, but when they see you, they like, you right. look like you fuck somebody's boyfriend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause, because that's the, that's the like BBL stigma that you have over your head. Like, you know, people automatically. Which I don't understand either. Yeah. Cause I never, I, there ain't not one afraid of period. period i mean they but they see your body done your boobs done exactly your ass, it's a thing for them they yeah. they see a stupid bitch. they say they assume you're stupid they assume you're a hoe they just assume that you're a gold digger this is all based yeah. off of you know judging all a things by that a are cover. true <laughs> <laughs> I, no it's not no it is not but that is a stigma that you do get with mm -hmm. a BBL. And i i mean everybody knows mostly if you know who i am i get a lot yeah of hate because it's like you walk in a room and you probably we both probably look mean but you mm -hmm. are cracking hella jokes in my fucking ear and people are yeah. probably looking at us yeah. and they think and we talk to everybody but yeah. it's like bitch just made the funniest especially joke ever. Especially like over the internet too. Like I feel like I I get a lot of unwarranted hate. It's really I I know it sounds delusional for me to say, but I genuinely feel like are jealous. Like <laughs> they're just jealous. Like honestly, genuinely, like that's what it is in my soul. Because when you just really have no reason to be mad and you're just picking at anything you could possibly find yeah. to be pissed off, you're a hating. Like at first, and it's it behind the likes me. of that. That's behind the lights. I mean, at first it really affected me really bad. Shy, you see me in some of my really dark moments. Yeah. And it, it does get really hard. It is not all, oh, she has a million followers. So she, it's so easy. It's so fun. She can talk to whoever she wants and she and it's gets so money. Easy. Yeah, and it's so easy for 
me as an outsider looking in with how you deal with that is like to be like, mm-hmm. it's to say, just don't look at the right. comments. Don't do that. And But it's easier Everybody said than says done. That. You know Everybody what I'm saying? Says Everybody that. says that, just but it's don't easier look said at than it. done. Just don't pay attention. Oh, I could deal with that. That's nothing. You don't even know those people. And that's easy to say until it's hundreds of thousands hundreds of people of thousands making same videos, thing, yeah. breaking down your character, mm-hmm. trying to say you're a bad person, making up lies, spreading lies, and people really genuinely believing them. People will believe what other people say about mm-hmm. me before they even believe me. Like, that's what's crazy. What I don't, what now that bothers me with social media now is that it's it's turned into more of a hate train over a love train for oh, one. But 100%. it's also when people spread these rumors and then they mm-hmm. later on, like when they spread the rumor about Kylie Jenner, just like make these little yeah. things. And then they'd be like, I was just lying for mm-hmm. clickbait. Mm-hmm. That should be f- illegal. And I'm glad right. Cardi B set a president and was like, bitch, you getting sued. Oh, yes. When Cardi B sued, what's her name? Tasha, Tasha K. K. You're going to jail. I loved that. I loved that Cardi sued her because it needs to, like, honestly, if I could lock all you little trolls the f*** up and put you in prison, I would. Like, I swear, like, not even no pull up, let's fight. No, I want to lock you up and give you emotional turmoil behind bars because you guys don't realize that when you troll... Yeah, when you troll people, you are breaking somebody down and mm-hmm. it becomes a lot to bear like on your back. Like literally really mentally does. ill. Literally. No, actually, it's mentally ill. I've never in my life, even before I had followers, fame, money, anything. I never was just like, I just want to hate on that. Yeah, never in my life. Never in my life. Have You're, I a You're, You're a loser. You're a loser. <laughs> You're so lame and you're going in our burn book, you Troll. What do you guys? I mean, what do you guys? Look, you guys, it's just us. Losers. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you think? Like, do you think that there's perks of social media? Obviously, there's perks. Yeah, obviously there's yeah. perks. Um The perks have gone down though. I will say the perks have gone down because the algorithm is trash now. So being an influencer is not as powerful as it once was. It has a, a little, it holds a little weight, but it don't hold the same weight. You could different. probably speak on that more than me because I mean the privilege that I've got has gone beyond social media. It's with pretty. Yeah. Oh, pretty privilege. Oh, pretty privilege. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but that just, is a real thing. That is a thing, but I'm literally just kidding. We're talking about social media based, but like literally, I mean, not really. I haven't really experienced really? that to that extent. No, I'm sure yeah. like with certain brand deals when I was modeling, that's a completely different right. story, you know, so I could experience it from when I had an agency, when I was right. modeling, how I got things done with that. But like with social media per se, like my following it, I mean, I've gotten Free things. Yeah. Free is always free. great. Free, oh, free is always great. Yeah, you do free get a lot of free shit. I do get, get a lot, lot of free shit. shit. I do get a lot of free shit. But like monetizing it, I have like on TikTok right now, I have like $500. I ain't never Ooh, touching it. I'm getting money. I'm getting money. No, actually, I need to check my little TikTok. TikTok barely pays. Let's TikTok there. barely pays. And that I've gotten a few viral videos. Yeah, that pisses me off. TikTok barely pays. And also, I'm actually mad at TikTok right now because I'm shadow banned as fuck. And like they legit, they just they just pick and choose. They're hella choosy. Like a girl will have her whole ass city out, but if I have a sliver of areola out, it's banned. Bitch, I've seen full fledged births on TikTok. I've seen yeah. full fledged birth, and nothing against births, but it's just like I sh- don't want. I don't need to see your coochie. Subjected to this. I don't need to see your coochie. And also, oh my god, did you see the breastfeeding lady on TikTok with them saggy? Titties? Look, I'm we're not going to body we're, I'm not shame. Gonna, Look, bo- cancel, not- cancel already. First episode, cancel her. No, <laughs> no, no, no. There's nothing wrong with uh, saggy titties. But she what? been having her whole there, There's nothing out. wrong with breastfeeding and there's nothing wrong with saggy titties. But it's like, why are you, what bothers me about that is putting your child on the same page that you like promote uh, OnlyFans and other stuff only like fans. that. And it's just like, that is a little like, right. What's it called? Not prepudescent. Predatory. Predatory. Prepubescent. <laughs> prepubescent. Oh, we're having a hard time with words today. No, but I mean, a <laughs> creep. And you got your whole nipple out. And she's like, it doesn't get flagged because I'm feeding a child. Girl, you use them same titty videos to promote your OnlyFans with your baby sucking on your boob. You're that a weirdo. That's disgusting. You're a weirdo. She needs to get punched in her eye. But anyways. Wait, um, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that... Um, well, I know I can answer this. Does, Which one? Does social media affect your? No, you did, but life? you didn't even see say the, oh, perks, the perks. What you get? What are the perks? Well, yeah, that you we kind of did free. Sh- I mean, you know, how much money you be making? Because that's what we really want to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I make a lot of money on social media. A lot, really. So, yeah. is that? Do you feel like that's a good primary source of income for like if someone wanted to be full fledged influencer? Yes, it is. But also the it's a lot of the market is so oversaturated now. It's so oversaturated. And That's like, what they say about podcasts. Yeah, mm-hmm. look, 
<laughs> no, okay. The market of influencers is extremely oversaturated right now because everybody wants to be an influencer. I, I feel like I'm kind of an OG influencer at this point. So like, you know, I've seen like how how it used to pay, how mm. it pays now, how easy. But like, I mean, I don't think I've not had like a at least a six figure year doing social media. And I've Dying. not had a job since I was well, when I was a stripper. When I was what, twenty? <laughs> twenty years old. So yeah. So that's about, 10 years. I haven't had a job in 10 years. You know, the thing I think about with social media and how it, you said it's oversaturated with influencers is that people become influencers hella quick. Like it's mm -hmm. such a microwave. Like right. you get one viral video and it's just. No, but bam. really what the thing is, is that people want to be famous, not knowing that having people know you and I'm not even no big celebrity. I, but when I'm telling you, y'all think y'all want that and you don't want it. That's the thing. Everybody wants to be known. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to this, that, and the third. First of all, not everybody is a star. And I, I know that sounds like some hate. And, but and not everybody is just a good general person right. to everybody, be surrounding your I, energy I just, with. Yeah. I feel like now people just steal and pick apart people's personalities put them together to make one mega influencer and it's like whole time you're not even being yourself babe yeah. you you literally act that like people who have mm -hmm. their own personality and the only reason why i say it with that tone of kind of like an irritation is because i feel like bitches be stealing my personality and Me it's annoying i be i'm not gonna lie. so i'm i literally am a technically a micro influencer but mm -hmm. i be seeing the same exact videos mm -hmm. verb i've Put him, I put it on my close friends before about one girl who literally said the exact same thing mm -hmm. I said, like probably a week later. And I'm like, girl, you getting all yep. the, you getting all the likes, but everything from this. Views, but I'm like, and likes. it's just like, I know exactly where you got that. From. Right. It's literally me. Right. Like legit. I've done so many things that first of all, if I even say I've like made a little impact, people would be like, oh, you think you're just and I'm like, I have. Obviously, I don't talk about it often, but I have. And it's like, mm -hmm. there's just there's just so many things. I remember when I first started calling shit ghetto, I'd be like, that's ghetto. And they'd be like, you're so disrespectful. You need to humble yourself and blah, blah, blah. And then like, you look mean. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, people started doing that <laughs> when I would call my fans roaches. It was a thing like people started like, you need to cancel her. She she calls her fans roaches and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, this is my personality. This is my humor. Mm -hmm. How me and even you interact is like kind of mean to each other, but like in a loving way. It's yeah. love. It's always love. But and it, sometimes after I leave from you, and I told you this before, when oh, I yeah. when I leave from her, sometimes because we can, you you'll mostly see it from her because I'm I act like the better one, <laughs> but you'll see her like talk to me away, and then I talk back to her, and then when I get around my other friends, they be like, "Why are you get throwing jabs at me?" I'm like, "I don't know. It just comes natural, right?" <laughs> like just, when you have one sense of humor with your best friend, when, and you then, had an A personality and then a B personality right, with somebody else, right? No, but thankfully yeah, most of my friends have the same personality as me like the so same humor you, same humor yeah. so they understand but if i go around a different crowd of somebody and they'll yeah. be like why i'm like i just called you a raggedy bitch and yeah. i was just joking why that, are you not yeah. laughing that's like with me and asia like me and asia don't really have that kind of friendship mm -hmm. like we don't like talk the way that we talk yeah and it's just funny because i noticed the other day me and you were talking and then like i had said something to her like that and i was like Wrong friend. Wrong friend. <laughs> group B. Group right. B group setting. Group B. Group B. Group B setting. But um, do you think that uh, like any social media type of stuff has affected your dating life? What? Yes. Oh, um, um, yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. Actually, yes. Even though she's like technically micro influencer. Yeah. It yeah, has. one thousand because I have such a personality. So I'm posting like all the time. I post whatever's on my mind. I just think at that who moment. you are in general. In general. Yeah. Like I'm like I'm a crack a joke. Yeah. I'm going to win an argument before I win this relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, no, it was like, what did it say? Social media first, my relationship second, which right. is not true because I'm in my a relationship right now. My followers come first. I'm yeah, sorry. Exactly. I need to make them laugh. I need to make them laugh. It's a good time. Like, And then like, I had to find a fine balance between the two because it's like, when I'm in a, when I'm in an argument, I'd be mm -hmm. like, I'll, I used to go to, uh, be like, so how would y'all feel if right. your man did? So, right. Uh, you know, Take the problems see. to the internet. Exactly. Which you can do. Like, but you can't. You, I wouldn't be like, I would make it in a sense to be like, just asking generalized topics. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be like, so yeah, how would y'all feel? And then I then I look, I go back in my relationship and be like, well, they said this. Right. And he'd be like, who the f cares about right. them? Who cares about them? This is not an A, B, C, D, E, F, G Exactly. And he'd be like, fuck followers. I think that it does affect my relationship because relationships, because I feel like, People want to date me for the wrong reasons mm -hmm. a lot. Like sometimes guys are just like, "Ooh, I could crack winter." Like, oh. see, I didn't even think of it like that. I thought of it more of in a sense of like you not wanting people to know your business because it does oh, get that exposed too. hella easily. No, that you know that is a big thing for me. That is a huge thing for me. Even the last guy that I was dating, like 
first of all, I wasn't even ready for the world to know that we were going to be dating because it wasn't like we were in a relationship. We weren't mm-hmm. talking about the future. He's a, he was a lot younger than me. He was a football player. And, you know, it just wasn't a relationship I was going to put out there. We go on live one day, me and him are freaking drunk, and he's in the back giving hints about who he is, about what team he plays for. I'm and, crying. And I'm like, he, okay, so that goes with what you were saying at first. That's he's petty. like, oh, he played football. Oh, he must be raw. And I'm like, quit saying that because you don't know that. My followers are crazy. They're Literally. They found out who he was within some hours, and a blog was posted hours later about who he was, his sign, what team he played for, and... I'm just like See, and my and my relationship wouldn't be on a blog. So that's the mm-hmm. difference of like I w- I don't have to deal with that extent. Oh, I have yeah. to deal with like something more personal. You got to deal with blogs yeah, and yeah. being like that. So that's why and then you know what it reminds me of when uh you were about to you were going to date this guy and he wanted to take you on uh Oh. to uh Oh yeah. To, I, okay, so I was going to this guy's been trying to date me for a long. He also is a football player. By the way, I just want to clear up. I'm not dating athletes anymore, so I'm just cr- want to put that out there. But so this football player was trying to take me on a date. First of all, he sent me he sent me a little $1000 for my birthday. Never met him and I thought that was cute. And that I was like, cute. "Okay, that's a cute little gesture because period." And then he was like, "Yeah, um will you come to I'm not going to say what team because I don't want and you know people are Tell crazy. me. No, I'm just no. kidding. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Basically, uh, NBA uh what is it called? The finals, NBA game, the finals. So the he playoffs? was going to buy a court is that football? Yeah, pl- no, wait, is, is it? it? Play. <laughs> they make what a touchdown, it? right, for the basketball? No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't but know. No, basically, it was like he, floor seats of floor a basketball, seats at a basketball game, game for the finals, or and something. And she was like, like "Do you that. think I should do it?" I was like, "That's fun. That's a cute yeah. first date." But she had to think about on a sense people of like, people are gonna see, people are gonna find out. And I was like, and she was like, "What would you do?" I was like, "Bitch, go to the game." Yeah, and a lot of people were like, "Go to the game," but then some of my friends who also, who also know have a bigger influence, like how that. it is there, were like. Absolutely not. Do not if you go. Don't want it, if you don't want it to be serious, if you don't and want it, it to be right taken that way. And it was right after I was already linked to the other football player that I dumped. What a whore. I, what a slut. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, look, I mean, look, here's the thing about me. When you're single, you could do I'm whatever you want. You I'm can date. date. And the only thing, and that's what's annoying is that when you have a certain, when you live a certain lifetime, I drank, I'm drank most of it. You drank it all? Because you never pour enough. Uh, this is wine, by the way, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I told her, I was like, bring a little wine. And I'm like, hoping that she fills up the cup. Girl, because we drank all the wine last time. Anyways, oh. shut up. No, just shut up. <laughs> so anyways, um, oh, so yeah, that was like, oh, I'm a date. I'm a date, period. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Like, that's the thing. If y'all really knew how many people I've dated, you'd really call me a hoe. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all call me ho- a hoe off of like... Three or four lit people. Exactly. And I'm and like, oh, if you only know it. I like you can't help that, though. At the end of the day, it's like when you have a certain class of who you want to date, you yeah. can't really, if you don't want to do that, you can't. It's like celebrities, like, say. I got some, I got some, I got some, I, I'm like the Avengers. What is it called? I'm collecting Infinity Stones. I've collected my Infinity now Stones. Now she got a top five. Look, well, um, I don't anymore, though. I actually am dating somebody, and it's very different from normal. And this is my man, my man, my man. I'm not coming up off him. I think I'm going to get married to him, so period. I know no uh, more. <laughs> your wholeness can be deleted. Yes, period. <laughs> no, that's good, and I'm happy for that. Yeah. I like to see that. Yeah. That'd be a whole different version of you. This is a different thing. No more athletes. I'm not even giving you a chance. I don't care. You're not getting a chance if you're an athlete. I don't care how much money you send me, how hard you beg, how hard you cry, what team you play for, how big the contract is. I don't want the issues. I've gone through the issues. I've felt the issues. I've had the issues. And I'm done with the issues. Y'all can have that and y'all can keep getting cheated on by these freaking players. But go ahead. Anyways. Oh, into the next topic, dating rich men. <laughs> dating rich men. How is it dating rich men? You've dated a couple of rich men. Yes, I have. How is it for you? Um, Fun. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. It's fun. It is. Yeah, and, it but is I'm fun. thinking it, it's fun. It's a good time, especially right. if you don't really have much t- many ties to it. It's fun. Like you're not in love. If you're not in love. like I'm, Oh, yeah. See, that's my problem. I always be trying to like be in love. In love, yeah. hopeless romantic. But see, I know that, like, remember the last guy before my current boyfriend right now? Yeah. I was like, this ain't gonna last long. Right. But he had money and it was like a good time. It was yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, whatever, this this was fine. I know how to place people in categories. Right. I tell her that all the time that she gotta start placing people in categories. Yeah. But I like, don't do that. If we I date, would, you're my man and I'm not talking to nobody else and you better not be talking to nobody else. And you know what? That's insane. Period. I don't care. I'd be like, no, <laughs> don't tell me what to do because I ain't gonna tell you. I don't care. But no, I my biggest thing about dating rich men is that it's fun. And then my, mm-hmm. like, my current relationship right now, he's, 
he's good. He's yeah. secure. Mm -hmm. And I still feel like it's fun. It's stable and it's, it's fun. stable and it's fun. Yeah. And this one in the beginning, he, he said in the beginning, he was like, look, I work for my money. So he, right. it was kind of a sense of like, I'm you, I know what you probably may be thinking you used mm -hmm. to, but you're going to get the same thing, but you're going to have to like, Chill, chill relax. a little bit, relax right. a little bit. Because I'd be like, well, yeah, this, well, this, I'm this. used to this. Well, I need, you know what I'm saying? Right. Be like, it I mean, right now, I feel like I'm also in the era of I'm dating somebody who he is, he is wealthy. He's a wealthy man, but the way he has money is different, mm -hmm. and just the way that he is is different. And I'm like, I, I actually love it's kind it of be the same thing because here's the thing about when you date rich men, and this is something that I know, and this is coming from somebody who I'm talking about. I had a mother send me 30 bands, 20 bands, 10 bands, 5,000 here, 5,000 there, just because they don't give a f They have this money so disposably that you think, oh, my man just handed me $20,000 in cash. He must really fuck with me. No, $20,000 to him is like $5 go sit down to and us. But go sit down and shut up too. Go sit down and shut up and let me do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And some women are okay with that. Some women will sit down, will shut up, will allow a man to cheat. I only think the girls who do that feel like they don't have a lot of options or they just are in that city girl mindset. If you're in the city girl mindset, cool, stay there. But I want love. That's just mm -hmm. not really who I am. People think I'm a city girl, but I'm really not a city girl. No, she's a real lover. I'm a lover girl. She's a lover I'm a lover girl. girl. But uh, these rich men have so much money that's so disposable that it's like, if you want to deal, like one of the topics. That's, I was just about to say, that's literally the next topic. Dealing men who with a cheat, man who pay cheats but pays the bills. And I have even had somebody that I was so in love with. I was so in love with him. And he was like, look, I'm going to always make sure you're good. I'm going to give you whatever you want. Can you just not bother me and let me do whatever I want to do? And I was like, no, because I was genuinely in love with him. And I was like, I'm not going to be one of your concubine of Like, no, I don't want that. And it broke my heart. And I could have stuck around and got really probably anything I fucking wanted by just shutting the hell up. But that's just not in me. That's just not who I am. I don't want to settle for that. It will really heal up like the Wolverine when money's involved. Yeah. But I really honestly yeah. feel like if in my in my time, my like the age that I'm at right now, I don't want to deal with shit like that. Yeah. But if that were to be presented to me, I, I think the only way sometimes women stay is two ways. I feel like well, multiple ways. But the main two ways women stay in relationships like that. It's either they're really delusional and they don't care or they don't think anything or they are cheating back. Yeah. I really honestly, I feel like as a, my relationship right now, if I were to find out he was cheating on me, I would leave in a yeah. heartbeat. Right. But if I was doing my own thing, I'd be like, well, you yeah. know, whatever. Well, so I feel fair. like fair is fair. It's like, all right, nigga, you got, you just got caught. Right. But I would, I would leave in two seconds because right. I'm like, I'm giving you everything I got. If I'm giving you my loyalty mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I and want that's the, ex my thing. Ex the same in return. I'm an extremely loyal person. So when I don't feel like I have loyalty back, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. I feel like if you're disloyal, like that was the thing with my ex. With my ex, I was with him on and off for years and like we all will always love each other, always like whatever. But he did not understand the concept of loyalty. Yeah. Genuinely did not. Never had to deal with it in his life. Came from a completely different background from me. And from where I'm from, <coughs> loyalty is a matter of life and death. So when yeah. I, the way that I was raised, if you ain't loyal, bitch, you can't be around me because yeah. like shit is sketchy and dangerous out here. You don't even fuck, you can't be loyal because you never, you don't really have to be. And you know what else it is too? It's, it's young men who just get a little taste of some money. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, it's like they got an abundance of like mm -hmm. wealth right now. And it's an abundance of bitches who don't care, who don't care about loyalty, who don't right. care about that. They just want the new bag. They want to be right. in the list situation. They want to be with a little nigga that does right. this and that. And that's, that's around that type of environment. Mm -hmm. So it really is just dealing with a bulk of women who really don't care about loyalty. And then you get this one right here. And it's just mm -hmm. like, well, I don't want to deal with that. So let me go yeah. to the bitch who really don't give a f You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it makes right. you feel like, yeah. what am I doing wrong in a sense? But it's like, it don't. Right. I mean, it definitely, like, that definitely messed with my self-confidence. Exactly. Like, when I was, like, how I said I was dealing with somebody who was basically, like, sit down, shut up, let me do what I want, and you're going to be good. He does deal with, he deals with those type of men who are going to be like, I mean, men. I'm crying. Look, oop. Homosexual. Yay, pride month, pride <laughs> month. No. <laughs> no, but, like, he deals with those type of women mm -hmm. who are basically going to, you know, sit down, shut up, and, like, just, this my man, and he's a whore. Yeah, and I'm like, I, could, I honestly could And I would know. be like, well, what's wrong with me? Yeah. Like, tell me what's wrong with me. Why I am I not know. enough for I need you to, to understand. be loyal? Is it that I'm not enough or is it that I'm too much? And yeah. for a lot of the times it is, you're too much. Like, you have too much self-respect. Then go find less. Period. Go find go less. Find less. 
But um, yeah, so I mean, that definitely was something that I had to go through and learn throughout the years. I had to learn that lesson many, many times in these relationships with these type of men because mm. I would genuinely be like, what is wrong with me? Yeah. Why am I, what? I would be like, oh, if I just do this, yeah. I will be accepted. If I just, you know, am this successful, if I'm this good at this, or if mm. I, you know, if I, let me be prettier or like, let yeah. me be smarter. Let me yeah. learn some more, like just anything. You think this is the reason why? And it really has nothing to do with you and it has everything, everything to do, to do with, with them. them. 1000 percent true. But um so also something that we wanted to do with you guys, good conversation. Right. And it went by a very smooth y'all, yeah. this is all trial and error. So yeah. every single episode we're gonna this I feel like this is great, but we're gonna get better yeah. and better and more kind yeah. like it literally flowed so well because yeah you might Period. Period. <laughs> I want to cry. Um, but yeah, no, it did. So something else we wanted to do it was an advice segment. I see yeah. you post about it. So yeah, so we do have some advice. I have my phone right and, here. Okay, not saying that we yeah. have it all together, but it's literally like, okay, you know how some, you know what I thought about how some situations yeah. like, there was this meme. It was just like, don't take that advice from how you would see it. Take it from it's, if your best friend was telling you. Right. Because it's like, you'll put up with some shit your own but you mm -hmm. won't you don't want your best friend to put up with nothing right, right. and that's exactly how it is you you'll tell your best friend like no don't deal with that nigga he ain't shit right. and then you'll be like in the background dealing with somebody who ain't shit right you know what i'm saying i was just talking about that earlier on live and i was saying how i give the best advice but i really have a problem taking my own advice it's it's true when you have like the heart eyes and your, mm -hmm. your vision gets clouded mm -hmm. but i'm so protective over my friends i'd be like why are you letting him treat you like that like what are you and doing be going around in circles yeah i do going around in circles i'm a, I'm a She's a, re I'm a big she's recycler. A, she's a Sorry. big you she's a big avid <laughs> recycler. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big avid recycler. Don't try to waft my burp away. You don't even no, smell it. No, I was it. burping too. Oh. I'm crying. <laughs> you some burping ass. I know. So yeah, I well I was a big recycler. And I yeah. actually had to set that boundary for myself to be mm -hmm. like, you are not recycling. You are and I'd be like, you are better than this. No, you don't literally. gotta deal with that. But it wouldn't even be It would be her being bored. It would yeah, it wouldn't be that I felt like I wasn't better. Cause I knew that I was, yeah. but it would be like, I'm comfortable with these people. These yeah. are people who really know me. I don't have yeah. to get to, you know, like open up to a whole new person. It's been ten mm -hmm. years, five years. They, three and maybe some long standing relationships. Oh, long. Oh. But then when you know what would be hilarious when she would like text somebody new or something. And she'll send them a funny ass joke, and I'd be like, they probably don't even know that since you. They don't know my they humor. They don't know you. That's the thing. I think that's why me and Justin, yeah. like me and Justin, mm -hmm. were so just for years and years and years. He's still like that with you. Yeah. I, you know, I feel like that's, <laughs> look, I know we probably, we the same age, but I feel like that's my little nephew. I love him. I know. She always says nephew. You only say that because he's short. Because he's short, and he yeah. also literally looks like a, a little bit of my family. You I'm know what crying. I'm saying? So, like, but like, that is just somebody who, knows me so in and out mm -hmm. that it's like even though I really have no desire to ever date him again like it's just like it's easy to go and speak to somebody that like fully understands you in and out you can argue with say whatever to mm -hmm. and it's like I know you I love you I will always care about you it's just like a it's like a I say like a baby daddy without the baby I'm crying that's what I call it and that it. is exactly what y'all are I yeah. mean that's exactly what y'all are that's what I call it and then I mean I have other relationships too that like have been on standing but for you years. know when this when, like this relationship that you're in right now mm -hmm. that you say is serious you're gonna have to cut all that off because oh, yeah, i've had those cut. same things and like now my relationship right now yeah that's what evan is that is i literally i don't want to jeopardize it at all you no, know what I'm saying? i would never and i <clears throat> i'm at the point no me and justin are actually technically not even in contact right now not for any negative reason or anything mm -hmm. but it is because i am focusing like on my future and i can't be continue to i be. can't i can't really be close to you and like i can't you know do all that and i mean sorry I won't lie, it was a few if somebody sees this I'm, I'm sorry if if he sees this and feels away but you know you want to move forward with somebody who is giving you every single thing that you ask for in a relationship yeah and like I'm not going to jeopardize that because I would be mad if my my man was talking to an ex. Exactly. I don't care if you're friends, how long it's been. I don't exactly. care about none of that. I said, and I got to respect it. See, now she's on this wavelength because literally she'd be like, oh, so you can't be friends with... No, I can't. No, we're not no. even going to get into your situation because her situation is not... It's not even that simple. Like you will literally... Yes, it, it literally no, is that simple. She will literally cut off just regular friends never did anything with never had any type of relationship that's with that's not true i've never cut off any guy friend that i've never that i've not done nothing with i still talk to the same i still have the same guy friends it's literally uh, one in particular i thought that, that you I told couldn't. me that you can never talk to any of your guy friends no that's not true oh. i literally was 
yeah <laughs> p- petty fake <laughs> as hell right here literally oh no God. it's literally only one and more of that she's like so you just can't be friends no i'm so glad for this relationship that's coming i'm so excited yeah it's it's a more serious adult relationship yes so like i'm just you know oh actually since we're talking about by the time this airs this will already have passed but father's day is coming up and the guy that i'm dating is a father clearly not with me um but i was i already know what shy is gonna say miss big trick yeah <laughs> miss big get, trick over here do you get your man of father's Hell no, day it's early you do no you do but it's early right now you could send it doesn't nice- matter it's father's day bitch you can get something you, nice and what, small so what are you gonna get miss big trick i'm gonna get him a, a little 180 dollars gift card to get a massage that is very cute. That's cute. That's I, fine. That's cute. She always called me a trick because I am a trick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I but really no, because it's really the thoughtfulness and the sweet. Because I'm thoughtful too, so we really have that same kind of love language yeah. in that sense. Because I, I love gifts. Yeah, I love me too. I love gifts. gifts. I love yeah. giving them. So I get it. But it's like, bro, she been talking to this nigga much. for like three, yeah, three weeks. Not him. What? Not him. But like one. She wanted no, not through. But she was like, I'm about to uh, buy a uh, a picture. It's thoughtful. It's sweet. It's thought provoking. It's Look, nice. If I happen but, to start talking to somebody and their birthday is coming up and I really like them, yeah, I'm gonna buy them something. I'll date you. Yeah, I would be honestly. Men are lucky who date me because I'm a I'm a blow a little bag. Have I returned gifts? Absolutely. You piss me off before that gift comes up, baby. It's going straight back to the exactly. store. Yeah, that is true. Period. That is true. So, I so mean, you're going to get him a little massage gift a card? A very small, that's not even nothing. $180? I could do that. Okay. And are you going to give it to him in person? No. I'm going to email it to him. Because Father's Day is on Sunday. We're not seeing each other until um, this weekend. Oh, that's oh, that's so cute. That Miami. is cute. That's yeah. nice. That's or thoughtful. next weekend. What's today? What is today? So it's a uh, oh next weekend next weekend. So it's an advice segment. To call. Did anybody send you any juicy DMs? Did you read oh, anything? Advice. Okay. So yeah. So this somebody did send me a video and I'm, a video. How many? Not a video. How many should we do? Should we do one and then just should we? We could maybe do two. We could maybe do two. We could do two. Yeah. Okay. So this is from Tings and Things, which by the way I like your at name because that's hella cute. Um, hey Roach besties. <laughs> Peep the roach because as we talked about, hey roach besties, whoop, hey roach besties for your upcoming podcast. I ran from a six year on and off again relationship on my birthday in April, 2023. I don't understand that. I ran. We were super toxic together. He always made empty promises to keep me around marriage, kids, house, B-Day weekend. We were celebrating. And at the end of the night, he was upset yelling that I was making him look like a clown pushed me to the ground repeatedly whole body was bruised I was feeling like I was falling on doorknobs and cabinets but he kept saying (laughs) I didn't hit you I ran out of there so fast and I haven't looked back moved out changed my number and blocked him and all his friends from having access to me I've been so focused on the wrong shit and I'd marry and have kids by 30. Now I realize Mm. that the time will come. If it's for me, it'll be for me. But I need to focus on traveling and putting myself out there. I went on a cruise in May and met a man 10 years older than me. I'm not in a place to take anything serious at the moment, but I love being spoiled. How can I manage dating, do's and don'ts? And how can I give off signs that I want to be gifted nice things, experiences, trips, and overall expenses in my life that come up? My car was just up and I need a new I need new rims and tires lol I already have four booked and paid for vacations from next month to April 2024 concerts and big comedy shows booked too so it's not like I want a man to do something for me that I can't do on my own tips on navigating through the circus I love you and Chai's energy by the way thanks for reading a chapter of my memoir um Seem like she's on the right path. You want somebody? I feel like somebody hits you. But you she's dip. saying, "Oh, you got to dip. You got to dip." That's what I'm saying. You yeah. got to dissect all levels of it. So she's doing yeah. the right thing by walking away from that situation because yeah. it only gets worse. It never 100%. gets better. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like with the so with the domestic violence situation, like how she said, "Oh, he pushed me to the ground." And he said, "Okay, well, technically, I didn't hit you." A lot of people you may not know, or if you do know, I was in a domestic abusive relationship and that is exactly how it starts and I will always freaking reiterate this because it is really such a thing it starts off with the smallest pinching you punching your leg hitting your leg Mm -hmm. oh I just slapped your arm I grabbed you too hard I just pushed you up against the wall once a person starts feeling comfortable to put their hands on you and be physical with you it only gets Mm -hmm. worse and then 
I don't care how tough you are mentally, whatever, a grown man is going to be able to whoop your ass. And trust me, you do not want to be getting whipped on. It's not fun. Trust me. Take it from me. But always leave at the first sign of anything physical. I don't give a fuck what it is. If a man grabs your arm too hard, I have PTSD. If a man even fucking, I don't know, anything. I like a little, I like a little shove every now and again. I don't I'm like a kidding. shove. She's abusive herself. <laughs> no, no, no. So, I'm not. Yeah, no. she is. She's hey. lying. You a goddamn liar. <laughs> I don't know. She's, she's abusive. No, I am not a winner. <laughs> she is. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay. So as far as that, she did the right thing by, by walking away from that situation. Man, 10 years older. Um, how old is she? How old did she say she was? She, she didn't didn't say say how old relationship by she 30. Was. She didn't. Oh, by 30. By so, 30. So she said so she. So he's she's 10 probably years. around that age. So he's probably 40. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I feel like well, older men is not for me. I'll just put that out there. Depends. Not my thing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, no. <laughs> but, but it really it depends for me. But I feel like to answer your question to how to get men to splurge or to act like that or mm -hmm. to give you money or do things, you have to, I feel like in a sense, you have to like be that. No oh, man yeah. is going to want to spin on you but and you looking like a broke she raggedy. Said that so she's she, doing that. Yeah, she said like, I be having trips. I got trips planned. I got concerts planned. I got... Yeah, just da -da -da -da. loving yourself and being able to like see what can you add if to you me being... If you look like money, you're going to get some you're money. You're going to get some period. money. Period. If a man, if you if you present yourself like you have money, you're used to money and you're comfortable around money and money mm -hmm. is comfortable around you. Exactly. It's going to come to you. Like you don't even have... Like a broke man would be stupid to approach me because he already knows he can tell... She about a dollar, period. Mm -hmm. So I can't even go up to that girl. You know, it's just people know, stay in your lane, stay in your lane. Some, some people are going to try. But if he's 10 years older, he probably does have it going on. I personally don't like older men because I look at older men as unks. She's low-key a, a, a cougar at this point. Okay, the man <laughs> I'm dating right now is oh, my yeah, same yeah. age. Oh, wait, y'all same age? I have been a cougar. Well, yeah, we're he, the same age. He is? Yes. Oh, Bravo cute. for me because I have dated some extremely young men. Yeah, I don't, I, don't I don't like, I don't, I definitely do not like younger. I think you're dumb. I think you're 12. Yeah. I think you're stupid. I think yeah. anything you do is a joke to me. Yeah. So I can't date younger. And it's younger. annoying when you tell a younger guy, you're like, well, I have more experience than you. He's like, no, you don't. No, you're not. I'm grown. I'm I literally grown do. Years. So shut I the I literally do. I have literal ages on you. Yeah. Like so I yeah, years. I can't deal with that young shit. So that's why I'm like yeah. older. I'm done with the young shit. Yeah, that was just a little fun sprinkle, sprinkle. You sprinkle, know, sprinkle, sprinkle. I mean, they were rich too. It wasn't like they of were course. young and broke. But when you young and rich, that yeah. is a, that does add it's a few different. little years. That is yeah, it's different. different. I will when say you're that. dealing with a young rich man, it's different from dealing with like a young broke man. I ain't, I ain't cougar sugar mama in that. The last time you look, yeah. What? Nothing. What were you gonna say? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> the last young young broke man you did it with, he was a stalker. <gasps> Oh my God, y'all. Yes, I. Oh my God. And he lied too. Oh, wait, you know, he lied. Even, oh yeah, he's a fucking. I don't deal with broke men, but one he thing, lied about his financial situation. One sure. thing, so I'm happy that she's in, like, that this is something serious, but I would, I I told her the other day, I was like, damn, I would love to talk about your, because they're so exciting, her dating stories. I can stories. talk about all of that. No, I'm talking about, like, it, like, it would be like, girl, guess what just happened yesterday, but oh, I'm happy, about, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that type of stuff. I mean, but, I, could, I have so many stories that it's like. I know, I love him for know, days. I have so many stories about dating and everything that it's like, I don't, I don't, I have so much to Me talk too, about I've forgotten. Though you know how you've you forgotten your stories. Ooh, grandma, Somehow. we need to get you out the house. Uh, look, we need to get you out the house, auntie. But I'm um, shut the hell up. <laughs> but yeah. So when you give off money, you're always gonna get money. But also, here's my best advice: Some women have a hard time asking men for money. They they're like, "What do I say? How do I say it?" There's a lot of ways you could say it. But my personal favorite, <laughs> <laughs> my personal favorite, is to simply say, "Can I have X amount of money?" Can I have $5,000? That is very true. That's me to the T. And every man who's ever dated me knows. Can I have, I'm not being around the, I'm not, oh, my bills are due. I'm stressed out. And I 1000% agree with that because I've Just been, ask. The, yeah, because I've been the type to be like, and if you wait around for a man, you're going to be waiting forever. Because yeah. they like, because you think that they got comments and they, they see you working hard. They see you struggling. Yeah. They see your car broken down. They see all this stuff. But until you verbally, verbatim say, I need no, such nobody want to shell out no cash. Here's the thing. Exactly. I mean, unless that's their love language, but if you already peep, that's not their love. First of all, if you ask a man, look, let me lower the scale. Let's be a little more realistic for maybe the type of men you guys date. No, I'm just kidding. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> but like, maybe like, can I get $500? 
okay, maybe we'll even go 250. I don't care what the scale is. Whoever is watching, it might be your, your scale might and be 5,000. And some people 5, may, not ask for, may not ask for that. They might be like, can I have my light bill paid? And so happens my light bill is $1,000. Right. My phone bill is 200. My phone bill is 500. You well, know what I'm saying? Maybe I ask for bills. I wouldn't even ask for a, Okay. Look, Sometimes some people want to know yeah, what is going. Some men want to know what, what is I was, going That's towards. what I meant by a tail. That's what I meant by yeah. some men want to hear a tail. Some men want to hear, well, what is it for? Well, why would you be so irresponsible and not yeah, have? See, yeah, I oh my God, please Papa, shut the please give me the money. Give me the money. <laughs> I can't. No. Ooh, imagine. Ima have you ever dated a man who asked for who would be like, so when I'm gonna get it back? Oh hell no. Oh, I've never done out that. Out of here, I would never. I would. But that's the thing. Here's a test. Here's the test for you. Think that's your man, your man, your man. You ask him for a little bit of coin, and he ain't never gave you no coin before. And he says, "No, babe, that's not your man. You yeah. need to move directly on." They said the best way to get get a uh, get a man off you. Get a man off you is to ask for some money. Ask yeah. some bills paid. I'm sorry, but I mean, unless that's your thing, unless you're into that bum situation, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh my god! And you know what this conversation reminds me of right now? What? This reminds me of the Fresh and Fit podcast. Oh and my god, they I are ridiculous. Hate them. I they hate them. I was watching clips insane. of them last night, and I genuinely, with a passion, think that somebody needs to euthanize the little balding one who looks like the a, one, yeah, exactly. a meerkat. He so that's what you were watching? I told you to watch two She girls. gave me homework last night. I was night. like, do some homework. I was like, watch some, and then she want to watch fit, fit and Fresh. Okay, Fresh and whatever the fresh hell it's called. Good. Bums. Those are exactly the type of men you don't want to date. Okay. Oh, Those 1, are the type percent. of men you don't want to date. First of all, they're disgusting human beings. They think that women are just automatically beneath men. They think every woman is dumb. They think that women should not have standards and should settle for their disgusting, slot body, balding, and the disrespectful, terrible podcast, shrimp diving ass. Be so f for real, fresh and fit, or whatever the fuck. Continue. I had to put that out there because I want that message because that because that was your homework. That's what you looked at. That was my homework, and I watched it. And when I tell you, my you were blood disgusted. Was, my blood was boiling. I can't even watch them because it's like who you don't even look the way you even talk. You're you can't even do. You can't do nothing. Talking about an alpha. What what do they alpha call it? Male. Alpha male. You bottom of the barrel. They're I wouldn't, behind I wouldn't piss tapes. on you if you were on fire. I wouldn't spit on you if you were thirsty. Please be so for real. Anyways, back to the subject. So I just. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just think that if you need to ask a man for some money, directly ask him. Directly ask him. If you don't got it, though, and that is the type of man you're dating, somebody who does do buy paycheck, then you can't really be mad and you have to understand. But if he's like, yeah. look, I'll try to make something. Let me try to make something happen for you. If a man's looking out for you in any type of way, that's a good man. As long as he's trying and as long as you see, I can't. If a right. man, I've been with, you know, also men when they haven't had it all. Yeah. And I've been able to like, you know, I've actually been a provider in my last relationship before at one point. You know, well, no, oh, long, I didn't know that. A long time ago. Yeah. A long, I'm going to hold that over your no, head. No, no, no. This, this was, <laughs> I was in a six year relationship. So he was literally like a provider for a long time. Yeah. Then out of nowhere, it was nothing. And so it's like I was there to be like, right. I'm gonna lean on you. But it's like after a certain while, if I don't see any drive. If you right. comfortable and complacent right. with just being, but that not is doing another nothing. thing. When you are in such a long relationship and somebody is a provider, and if they do happen to fall mm -hmm. off, no, I don't say just leave your man. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, you so gotta so step many different, up too. So many different levels, so many different spectrums. So many. What was it uh, called when we said something? But it's so many different. Uh, <laughs> what? What do we say? Predicaments. No. What it is was the word you're else. looking for, babe? Let's start it was with the first S. letter situations no it wasn't oh i don't know okay whatever but the advice for that is basically just flat out ask for money yeah. leave a situation everybody's when, situation is different everybody's situation is different it's circumstances circumstantial so, oh that's a c yeah that's a c. <gasps> did you say an s circumstantial oh this baby okay. situations are circumstantial and yeah you moving right you gotta have you gotta look like money to even get a little bit or at least back put something towards yourself like anybody come on wanna... now don't be looking raggedy asking expecting a man to but that's the other thing that i will say okay so for, i look raggedy all the time for before the the fresh fit was it freaking fresh fresh fit i don't, I don't know y'all know what i'm talking about but they be having the t and i'm sorry i i am pro woman but the type of women that they have on there they, they have don't young... have yeah they have young women on there who probably don't have much going for themselves they have had women on there that do have things going for themselves and that's when they get offended exactly when they know what she's talking about exactly. has her own money has her own motion that's when they be getting mad like off the set but anyways i, I was watching it last night so that's why i'm, I'm so right, passionate yeah. but you know be the type of woman who can who has a voice that these little raggedy men aren't gonna try to belittle you can't belittle me because i got my own shit Exactly. On, I got my own motion going exactly. on. Exactly. So be a boss. Period. Just be a boss. That's okay. what it is. Behind yeah. the likes to be a boss. Yeah, be a boss. But um, anyways, let's wrap this up, guys. We are wrapping up today our first 
ever podcast. podcast. I am so excited. Mm-hmm. Did we start off spicy? Did we start off spicy? I feel like I we ended know. spicy. I'm happy that I got to cuss somebody out. Exactly. No, but um, uh, I think this was good. I'm excited for the future. We have our episodes planned out, our topics planned out, mm-hmm. and we love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here, for the people that have, you know, watched this long, subscribed, and we just look forward to building this family with you guys, and this was fun. This was fun. Thank you for yeah. tuning in, and we hope to see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.